Hey there, my fellow game makers, and today I want to give you a little bit of a rambly video and some more insights into upcoming features, which have been discussed and showed uh, on the game makers roadmap. So here they had kind of a meetup in June, so there was one month ago. There were a little bit, a few more videos, but eh, to watch them. Not really relevant for most people so therefore you can completely skip on that but here this guy mr russell k is the end boss of game maker he is the chef the boss so therefore if he's giving you some information it means something so let's go just go right into that and a little disclaimer before that so you can just find the videos on uh, sean spalling so he, the newest ones which have all of them there the official game maker channel doesn't have them which is kind of a bummer that's why i didn't uh, check them out sooner uh, and they're from june <laughs> so this is one month ago but uh, they were foreshadowing a few things and just giving a little bit more of concrete ideas so what will be the content of this video well first of all about the code editor which is getting redesigned the particle editor just a few infos about the image editor so basically a little bit more photoshop for us cool stuff and then the audio filters or audio changes which is pretty cool so let's just jump right into the first part which is the code editor and here you have to excuse me because i did some crummy screenshots yes do they look crummy <laughs> absolutely but this is the material i have to work with sorry for that but this is just cut out from the video and i got nothing better than that so we have to work with what we got so what we're going to do here is kind of interesting he built kind of uh they are building or uh, redesigning the code editor which should be faster and quicker and um, accessible for us so you we got for now three tabs and they get drop downs and normally if you go just into game maker this is how it all works for example I don't know, you just get, get an object and then you have to go between all, all of those or for example you just go uh, like this between all of them kind of cumbersome sometimes for example you want to see a specific event well you can drag it up here but um this is not too flexible everything is still bound in one object which is wah, a little bit uh, difficult if you have like a few uh, 15 or 20 of those and then you have to just juggle between because on the workspace it looks cool believe me i love how all that looks like so this is superb i love the design for programming <laughs> not always the best idea because bling bling isn't always efficient but of course i wouldn't change it i love i love the way it goes but if they can optimize it why not so what is their idea well they have three columns first of all with drop downs and on the left side here can i draw of course i can so, so for example if i draw here then you got our first uh, tab and then you got a drop down on things which have code so this could be uh, objects scripts shaders or whatever and then you got a second tab with a drop down and that entails uh, the specific thing which you have targeted and its subsystems so subsystems could be or are let's say for example for an object uh, all these events so this is pretty cool so basically you just got everything on drop down and you just select i don't know objects map generator or whatever so this is here and then on the second tab with a drop down you can have all your events in one line this is making uh, streamlining a lot of things easier and then what you can do is just jump between your objects and then see your events and you can just code and do something with it. And then on this side, you got the third drop down tab, which is containing, uh, what was it? Functions within, not sure what that means. So here I'm a little bit guessing, so I'm not gonna speculate too much. But of course this is then streamlining a lot of things nicer. And then on the left side, you got the inspector where you can define stuff even further. So they just want to give you a little bit more space. And then the last thing which they're going to do is, for example, if you are just in this uh, middle part of all the events, then for example, normally, and this is a little bit cumbersome, so here they invented or made it better, just you have the create event, then you got a different event, and then you have to go between each of those tabs, but you cannot have them in one window together. And this will be redeemed. 
So basically, you just have, I don't know, one portion is the create event, then the second portion is the step event, and then the draw and so on. And then you can just put them in here and code them, which is pretty sweet. So I love how that is. So you can just jump between those things instantly and see, for example, you have a create event and step event and draw and then because I use them a lot of times in tandem. Therefore, you can just check your code in between. Sweet. So I love that thing. And then let's go to the next thing, which is once again, a super crummy uh, screenshot, which is our new particle editor, which is a visual interface for the current particle system. And um, as far as I remember from the video, he just said it will be based on the current particle system. And, and normally, if you just wanted to test your particles, that was super annoying. And therefore, you needed to just load your game and see that stuff. If you want to see uh, something else, so for example, Mr. Sam Spade actually made a particle editor just for fun. So here, uh, where you can just test out your stuff. So Game Maker's Cast, highly recommend it. I, I'm not sure if he finished it, but well, after two hours, I guess he got some decent results. So check this out if you like. I guess he made his own stuff before Game Maker did their own. So once again, side content, why not check it out? Here once again, Game Maker Cast, subscribe if you haven't. So he go here. And then of course, uh, let's go into my thing which is the pretty cool thing so what the idea is that we're gonna have particles as an asset class that means there will be just these little icons and then you can just create this thing and then you can reference it and and spawn it in game so before that it was a little bit of a cumbersome thing to spawn particles and now um, you can make this thing even easier because now you can save it, you can store it, you can just, I don't know, share it with some, somebody else and just say like, hey, I got my fire uh, works, uh, I don't know, or fireball um, particle. Here you go, you can have it. And therefore, of course, I will share that with my community also. So this is pretty cool stuff. And the idea is that you can test your stuff in real time. So you don't have to load it, you just see it and check it out and see like, oh, do I like it? Is this good now? Yes, and there will be default assets, uh, particles as assets, or you can make your own. So therefore, there will be a library and they will expand on it. This is very, very, very much needed, uh, to be honest. And then let's go to the last part or the last two parts. The image editor, I don't have a screenshot, but basically if you ha you have our mini Photoshop version of an image editor, not really. But of course, this is uh, here. Here we go and they just revamped it you will have a little bit more space how all these things work you will have what is it um for example have kind of different kind of windows for layers because for now you don't see your layers they are here and then for example you can double click and just make things more transparent and so on so here you can have kind of uh, mini windows and then you can detach them and put them for example on a second screen or somewhere somewhere where they are not cluttering uh, the whole well workspace for you so this is pretty good stuff they are improving on things uh, in the future so this is pretty cool stuff and then the last thing is for audio filters so audio is a little bit of a thing in game maker and they just said like, hey, we will have F mode support and so on. Yes, as an kind of an extension, but not internal as far as I, so in the video it was stated, it, it's a little bit more complicated because if you use it, that's not a problem. But if you sell something with F mode, then I guess you have to pay licenses or something like this. And so therefore they will make their own system. Not sure about that. Um, at least this is what kind of information I could extract from the video. So if you want to watch it, uh, where was it? Prefabs. Yeah, audio filters, so 60 minutes plus. Then this is where he discussed it. And then, well, check it out for yourself. Alrighty, hopefully you enjoyed this completely rambling uh, video. So upcoming features not too much information but of course good stuff upcoming so why not alrighty that was it from my side have a good one one up in